Now, I was talking in the previous part about how there's a certain mission in this game that you play in the mainline GTA 4 and you play in the Ballard of Gate only where all three characters meet up at like this museum or bank or something like that for like an exchange of diamonds or money or something like that. I can't remember, I'm pretty sure it's diamonds, the diamonds we stashed away in the previous part. And when you Nico, you see Luis, who you play as in the Ballard of Gate only. Can't remember seeing Johnny, but it seems like we're on our way to do that mission now. Now, now, now. <laughs> I said that in quick succession. This mission automatically activated as soon as I finished the previous part. I got a phone call. It played out and it was like, hey, here's your mission, go to it. Which is um, a weird way to start the part. Right, guys, nothing to see here. Just a biker with a <laughs> dude just randomly brushing. Just act casual, mate. I'm not gonna kill you. You've done nothing wrong, okay? Yeah, so I remember this mission in the mainline GTA 4 when you're fighting a load of dudes, and I mean a load. So this might be maybe our toughest mission yet. I'm not sure, guys. It depends if we can make sure not to get shot to pieces. So meet Nico at the good entrance. Um. Uh... Am I supposed to hide me gun? I don't know if I am. That body armor. All right, man. Nope. I'm okay. Ray guy. Yeah, I remember this mission. So it is a museum. I was right. Let's have a look. See what there is. Uh, what is it? Can we check what it is? So it says information, but there's <laughs> no information on what it is. Right. That's a dinosaur. That's a T-Rex. Obviously. What's that? Is that a whale or? I don't know. I I'm awful with animals. I find them super interesting, but if you show me a skeleton of any animal, I would probably just end up guessing cat or shark. <laughs> I'm awful with guessing stuff. Is this the right way? Uh, I have no idea if I'm going the right way, guys, so if I get lost, I do apologize. Okay, no, it does seem like we're going the right way. Hey, soldiers, keep an Let's eye do out. this, baby. Let's do this. I wonder if the cutscene is the exact same as well that they show in the mainline game. We'll find out now. I can't remember seeing Johnny there though. Cannot remember. Hey, all right, man. How's it going? Hey, good to see you again. Yeah, likewise. Uh, let's hope this goes a little better than before. Yeah. Come on, let's get inside. Gentlemen, gentlemen, pardon the precaution. You know how things are. No problem. Let's do this. Okay. Let's see the stuff, gentlemen. Maury, come over here. Whoa, 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 whoa! Since we're having a little show and tell, let's see some money. Of course. No problem. There it is. Beautiful, huh? Unmarked bills. No history, no need to launder. Good. Nico, show him the stuff. Get in there, Maury. Isaac, look at them. Gorgeous, huh? Like condensed money. Isaac, these are great! Oh. Rest of you motherfuckers wanna die? Do something stupid, okay? Fuck you! Just get the shit, man! Come on! Well, that's one way to do it. Okay. Uh, here we go! Who the fuck is texting me? Now that you're trapped the lady, you should take advantage. You know what? Let's give them a call while we're here. See if they can help. I don't think they can. <laughs> Maybe they can't get access to the building. Sorry guys, hold the fire. I'm just making a phone call. Cheers guys. I love Terry and Clay. The fact that you can actually have them help you throughout the missions, because when we were tracking someone down, there was a feature where, obviously for anyone that hasn't watched the previous parts in the series, there's a feature where when I called upon them, they waited at the back of a property for when I'm trying to flush someone out, so I would I would like to see that option. Hang on. The gun's quite loud. I'd like to see that option in later GTA games, maybe GTA 6, you know, where you can call upon people that you've met and we can help you out throughout the missions. I'm not sure if you can do that in GTA 5, and maybe maybe I've just missed it entirely, but I'm pretty sure you can't do that in GTA 5. Okay, so down this way, any dude? No, oh, yep. 
Really? Oh! Get down, fat boy! Okay, Terry and Clay are almost here, so they should help out a fair bit. Uh, let's make it out in one piece. That is our main target, guys. I'm, I'm not bothered about making it look pretty. You don't want to get in that slob's way. <laughs> I love how Nico's seen as, like, some OP mega meta-human in this. And to be honest, if you're main protagonist in a GTA game, you're, you're near enough untouchable. You are. You're near enough you untouchable. Oh, shit. Hang on. I've got an easy way to do this, guys. Here we go. Bitch. Oh, I just nearly killed Terry and Clay, so that probably wasn't smart. Okay, this is making it so much easier. <laughs> Okay, so there's two more free dudes left. We have got the cops on us. Not the worst thing in the world. Get back, bitch. There we go. And then we just need to lose the cops. Uh, shit, where's my bike? Where's my bike? Uh, damn it, I don't know where my bike is. Did I run past it before? I don't know if I did. Right, I don't know if this is your bike, but I'm taking a bitch. Go on, hop on. Okay, so that's went a lot smoother than expected. I'm positive that only saving grace that made it quicker. Cover, Shut up for a moment. I think the reason why that mission. Oh my god. Party. Shut your mouth. Cover me. Brother Johnny. James, where are you, man? I need to give you something. Exeter on V. What's up? Wait there. Who's got my back? Right, this dude, I think he's just going to randomly start shouting. Who's got my back? Who's That's doing what? Oh my god, you know what? I'm going to get in this car because you're doing my head in. No, don't follow me. Don't follow me. Get on your own bike. The dude's just winding me up that much. I'm literally going to resort to driving a car because he's doing my nothing. Okay, here we go. Oh, driving a car, man, it's never felt so good in a GTA game where you're forced to ride choppers. I'm just thankful the choppers do not handle like they do in GTA 3 because in GTA, well not GTA 3, sorry, GTA Vice City, when you're trying to turn in a chopper, you need to slow right down or just be the best driver ever. I struggle massively in that game trying to handle the chopper. Oh fuck, it's got the sat nav, hasn't it? That just randomly talks. And I don't think you can turn it off either. Oh man. So I think that mission went really well purely because we had a rocket launcher. Oh my god, sat nav, shut up! If if we didn't have the rocket launcher, I think that probably would have took around an extra three or four minutes maybe, so. I'm positive we should be able to get another mission done during this part. Sorry, bitch. Oh my god, is it? Oh, no! Shut up! Is a way to turn this fucking sat nav off? Make a U turn. Shut up! Sat nav? Shit! Oh my god, no! 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 Turn left. Don't come at me with that shit. Right, okay, I don't think I can get the... Nah, I can't get the car down there. You know what? I'm sick of hearing the setting up anyway. Let's go. Right, Terry Clay, do not try drive down here. Do not. Um, is this going to be an ambush? Maybe. Here we go. Hey, what do you got? Got all the money the diamonds can buy. You mean all raise money? Fuck Ray, man. Fuck all of them. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, fuck them. I guess we're rich then. Now hold on to it, brother. You bet your balls on it. Yeah, this ain't no joke. Okay, I'm glad that mission's over purely because wow, we got ten thousand from that. Now the money in this, you can't buy properties in GT4. Which is a shame, so the money just goes on armor and weapons. Okay, Johnny, 
Nikki tells me you got away with the money. Bring it to me. Nico said that? Dude, that's weird. Shit was kicking off. I don't know what happened to the money. I just wanted to get out with my life. You better not be pulling nothing, Johnny. Or I'll stop pulling your fucking teeth, you hear me? I like you, Ray. Still keep your sense of humor in the face of an almighty fucker. See you around. What a lovely guy. And I think I'll just sit here in front of the taxi until I get another inevitable call for another mission. Oh, Jesus, free taxis? I'm spoiled for choice, guys. I'm spoiled for choice. Now, one thing I didn't like about how the... Oh, no, no, no. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Meet me at Ray's, okay? One thing I didn't like in GTA 4 is they actually took away a lot of features, you know, changing hairstyles, being able to buy properties. I'm not sure why they stopped... I'm not sure why they took those features away. It doesn't make sense to me. Maybe they will focus on giving it a more realistic aspect. So they wanted to take a load of features out. They didn't have as much time or a different team worked on it, maybe. But San Andreas well, had thank you. so much customization. You know, you could buy, I think, around 30 properties. You could get an advice city. You could get businesses. So it seems like GTA 4, apart from GTA 3, GTA 4 has at least customization and stuff in the open world to do. Well, look who it is. Hey, how you doing, tough guy? What's your problem? I told you not to get too fucking clever. What? Oh, you gotta be kidding. Start walking. Downstairs. Okay, I'm going. That's right. <laughs> Gentlemen, what the fuck is going on here? Fucking hell! Stop that shit, asshole! Anything yet? Nah. Burn him again. <laughs> Where's my fucking stuff? You see, genius over here would rather get creme brulee before he dies. Hopefully you ain't so stupid. Where's my stuff? I don't know what you're talking about. Fuck you! Uh, what are you fucking deaf? Uh, Where's my fucking stuff? I don't know. Who do you think you're bullshitting? A bullshitter? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna have to cut that shit out, Ray. It's not fucking cool. I fucked Ashley, my friend, and now I'm gonna fuck you. Where's my fucking stuff? Fuck off, Ray. Go ahead. Drop the fucking gun, goon. No! I'll cut him. No. I can get the, get the, back the fuck up. Back up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, run like a couple of girls. Billy was right about both of you. Backstabbing fools. God, I got guys in every corner. Where are you gonna go? I'll see you later. I gotta go talk to Ashley. I'm gonna go get the fucking brothers. We gotta go, man. Uh, where's my bike? Oh shit, I got a taxi here, didn't I? No! Oh, okay. You know what? Give Oh! Oh, Jesus! Wait, wait, why you give me attitude? You've just crumpled my head with your taxi. This is mine now, fuck you. <laughs> this isn't how I expected to be doing one of the final missions of the game. <laughs> Driving in a taxi after getting absolutely turned into a, a crushed crisp <laughs> by the taxi. I mean, that's gonna hurt. Oh, I need to sneeze right there. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I hate summer. Oh, you you know what? Let's get that car. Nope, nope. Oh. On, yeah? Jesus. Okay, maybe I should have done a taxi purely to... Hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I've got a way to do it easy, guys. So this should knock a bit of time off our... This should knock a bit of time off travelling because, as you can see on the map, if I show you now, it's a fair distance away. So if I just get a taxi there, I'm going to shave off about five minutes travelling. I know with GTA a lot of people like driving, but 
Hit up Burner's Road. I'm not a huge fan of it. If I can cut corners by travelling using fast travel and stuff, I will. I mean, even in Death Stranding, as soon as I unlock the fast travel, I started to use it so much. Hot damn, baby girl. Your friend Ray ain't so friendly. Johnny K, you're all right. I'm sorry, sweets. I think Ray sent some guys after you. Of course he is, baby. Thanks for the heads up. Meet me outside the house, okay? I'll be there if I'm still walking. I'll wait, baby. Okay, so take out Ray's hitman, hitman before they get yeah, easy stuff. Goodbye, cop. Get down. Bring it here, buddy. Now this is how you do near a final mission of the game. You think you're tough, guys? Come on. Okay, I don't know if we have to wait or. Yeah, they are moving on the map, so I'm just gonna play it safe. I'm gonna wait here the guys to come. Oh, I need to sneeze again. Jesus Christ. <coughs> I think you're giving Ter Terry and Clay an easy ride. Yep, yeah, let's call on Terry and Clay. Come on, boys. Give me some backup. So Terry and Clay can set up an ambush. Uh, you know what, I'm sort of focused on not getting shot to pieces at the moment, so... I can you mafia fucks are a joke! Uh, do we want an ambush? Yeah, you know what, we'll, we'll, give, we'll give an ambush a go, purely because... Oh, of course it wasn't starting then. The vehicle will act as armor for us as well, so... That should stop us from dying so quickly. Uh, you know, the last thing I want to do is be dying and have to restart a mission. That's just going to take up a lot of time. Okay, so these... These are the ones following me. Here we go. Oh shit, not ideal, not ideal, not ideal. Right, come on guys, come on. Come on, follow me, follow me. Follow me guys, follow me. Oh, one of my tires just blew out. Shit man. Can I make it, can I make it, can I make it? How far away are Terry and Clay? Ah, okay, okay. So just down here and then up. Okay, we can make it, guys. I hope we can. <laughs> I'm praying that we can make it. Uh, oh, no, okay. We, no, we've lost two wheels. Okay. Oh, this is, this is some, honestly, some action movie shit right now. All right, here we go. Come on, Terry and Clay. Ray gonna have many friends left after this. Shit. Oh, Terry and Clay. I love you guys, Terry and Clay. I love you guys. This is how we do it. 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 I forgot any. Here we go. Grenades, baby. Always forget to use grenades. Hey, that's. There's only one dude left. Boom, baby. Oh. No problem, amigo. <laughs> so that dude with the grenade flew, and he just decided to jump off the roof. Oh, I love this game. The, these, honestly, this final part, well, second to last part, <laughs> it's amazing. Some of the stuff that happens in GTA games, you, you, the unscripted stuff in GTA games is the best. Because, you know, you'll see some NPCs or characters that you're doing a mission with, they'll randomly, like, walk off a building or get run over. Like how this part started out where I got crumpled by a taxi. Just, there's so many moments that you, you just can't, you couldn't try and reenact or plan out even if you tried. It's it's absolutely crazy. I, I love this game, man. I love this. Obviously, if you guys want to see more of GTA 4, I'm more than happy to do the Ballard of Gay Tony. It seems like for some reason uploading these parts... They're not getting copyright striked, so maybe it's just the mainline game, I'm not sure. 
Okay, uh, these cars, I think these were already here when I was doing a fight before, so let's get... Here we go. Hello, Ashley, baby. What's going on? I'm sorry. Which bit? For everything. He, he told me everything. Me and Ray ain't friends no more. Uh, me and Ray neither, sugar. Johnny, I got some bad news. Jim, he ain't... Oh, no. Oh, man. Not Jim. <sighs> Fuck this. Angus is crippled and Billy gone insane. And now Jim's dead. I guess that's what they call payback. You got me. I don't got you. Crystal got a guy you, babe. Johnny, I'm gonna quit. Yeah, and I'm an idiot believing in your bullshit all this time. It ain't your fault. It's my fault I'm a fucking moron. I'm gonna go to rehab, straighten myself out. Anyhow, he, he told me you wouldn't get hurt. I wouldn't have done it otherwise. Yeah? Well, why shouldn't I kill you? Why bother? I'd be better off dead. But Johnny, Ray ain't the problem. What are you talking about? Are you telling me... That a backstabbing mob guy who wants to kill me ain't the problem? It's Billy. Oh. See, it's Billy. Ray, it turns out that Billy was trying to poison him against you, and now apparently Billy's going states. He's gonna he's gonna blame you. I'm sorry. Well, what now? You gotta get someone to help you. Maybe that congressman. Maybe. We'll see. Go on and get out of here. I love you, Johnny K. You're speaking a foreign language to me now, lady. Now get the fuck out of here. All right, guys. Oh, Jesus. Dude. All right, guys. So that does it for this part. The next part will be the final part in the series. I'm sad to say it, but it's going to be awesome. I think it's just going to be absolutely crazy. So... Appreciate your support throughout this whole series, guys. You've been awesome. This has probably been my favourite part so far. Just with the unscripted moments alone. You've been hilarious. See you in the next part. See ya!